Hi everyone, welcome to video number 18 in the Retro Bat Build series. Um, I know it's been a little while since I produced a video, but um, I think as I mentioned in the other videos, I've been trying to pull together uh, or source a, a complete list of games for every single system supported by by uh, Retrobat, and that's that's very nearly there. So um, I thought I'd take some time to do another video in the series, just in case anyone thought I uh, hurt the you know wasn't doing it anymore. I definitely am. Uh, I know I started the Battle build side by side, so um, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, this is still, still carrying on, and I will be able to be doing both um, both builds at the same time. So let's crack on then with uh, with this one. So this is going to be a fairly fairly sizable one like I say because I'm putting together a list of every single system um, the amount of systems we need to add is somewhere in the region of 160 so I need to kind of you know kind of pick up the videos otherwise we're going on forever um, so what we've got here is more systems to add um, here's the ones you'll find in the link and you notice they're all the A's so I'm basically filling in the gaps now so these are all the obviously there's some systems some Atari systems and media systems already in the build, uh, but this is basically filling in the gaps. So any other systems um, that weren't in the in the, in the current build, uh, and the idea is to try and work, work way through from top to bottom. Obviously, start with the A's and fill in the gaps. So, like I say, um, here's the current build over here, and here's all the ones uh, we're going to add today. So there are oh, I don't know, several systems here. So uh, Action Mat. Uh, so the Amiga 500 at the moment I think I added well, I did add the, the 1200 before but also RetroBrat supports different, different models so there's a bunch of games for the 500 here 4000 the, the C32 and the CDTV so it should cover all you know uh, most models now of Amiga or certainly all the models supported by RetroBrat currently uh, and then move a few other sm smaller systems so We've got the Apple II in here already, so in, sorry, in the build already. Now we're up in the Apple II GS, uh, Arcadia, Archimedes, Astrocade, and the Atom. So um, that should then take us, like I say, all the A's complete, and then obviously the next video will be the B. Well, depending on how big it is, it could be the B's and the C's, or just the B's. But anyway, yeah, basically bigger chunks of games, and basically get us to that point where we've got every single system covered. So again, without further ado um, I'm going to put these across in the normal way um, and what I'll probably do today is just pick one of them and do it rather than sit next actually they're quite big the Amiga like the Amiga CD because all the games are um, CD images so they're going to be going to be pretty big so this is quite a chunky download as well and the Amiga 500 is over a thousand games like 1400 games so yeah it's fairly sizable as well so what I'll do is pick maybe one of the smaller ones so just start with the action action max um, and we'll just pull this across so again here's our build folder uh, and going into the ROMs folder and all the pre-existing folders ready for you to drop the games into and it should be in here action max or well, maybe it was one that was added uh, in a later build and therefore you know so this folder structure I've got here um, as you see it has 160 folders in it but it's the you know the potential that um, action max was added after I create the folder structure so or after I did this build so what I'll do is just take that drop it into here password is build for the exclamation mark and yeah it's a bit, bit of a weird system this was this was a, a home system but it actually used VHS videotapes for the game so Obviously, I haven't seen it in action, you know, physically, but I guess you put a tape in and it would play a video on the TV, and then the, I guess the game would be, all the uh, bits of the game would be overlaid over the top. So quite an interesting idea, how to get you know, full full screen video in very early uh, systems. So that's copied across now. As you can see, it's got all the uh, all the games in here. There's a slightly weird layout this one in the fact that it has a, a bunch of kind of fonts and sounds and all that kind of stuff in the root of the folder and then I think the the game specific files like the sound and the video see there's a, a video file there are in separate subfolders there's only a handful of games made for this what that five so it's one of the smaller systems but it makes it you know the file size a little bit bigger because it's got these video files in it 
So just do that and then like I say that's that one done. For the rest just follow suit that we've done in the other videos. Like I say there's a Mega 500, you can see it's nearly 13 gig or just over 13 gig. You can see in here there's a there's 1500 objects so quite a few games in there to copy over so like I say I don't want to sit here and watch me do every single one but yeah the same as we've done all the other videos pick up the folder and drop it in here or um, click on extract and put in this this path to drop it straight in um, if you get prompted to overwrite anything just say yes um, so yeah so what I'll do is now just uh, I'll, I'll copy those over um, so I'll pause briefly and then copy them over and come back okay if by magic all that's been done and uh, all they've been extracted into the correct folders uh, and we're ready to go so let's just minimize this out the way here we have the current build uh, in the background um, ignore this menu here this is something I was playing with uh, trying to create sort of custom menus um, that's for another video <laughs> so yeah ignore that one um, I also noticed as well this video playing in here it's the same video that plays uh, if I click in the right place it also actually plays in the background here and for those you might have noticed it's actually a video for Bato Sira so um, I guess yeah so I guess the the, the themes are interchangeable They're, you know it's just, at the end of the day it's a theme for emulation station um, so I guess it's not specific to Retro Bat or Bato Sira but what I might do when I get a moment is just change that video out um, in, in this theme just so it's a, a Retro Bat video which uh, just so it fits and makes sense. Uh, anyway, so we're near. now we've added those systems in. Uh, again, to, to pick up new systems, we can either uh, restart, you know, close and reopen RetroBat from the menu here to quit at the bottom, or we can go to game settings and say update game list. It's up to you. Both do the same thing pretty much. Right now, so uh, another thing that I I would need to do, or I'm going to do is now we're adding all the systems um, what you'll find is even if you've had all the systems they don't all appear as in individual um, items on the menu uh, that's because by default Retrobat will group them together um, I guess to make it a bit more manageable and easy, uh, easier to navigate um, but I you know where I'm adding them I'd, uh, I'd, I'd like to see them all to make sure they're all visible etc so the way to do that is go down to game collection settings um, under system displayed there should always be all of them unless you, you want to hide one for any reason but you can just make sure everything's ticked and yeah you can make sure by doing uh, select all and you shouldn't have to do this everything should be ticked anyway um, the main thing is around group systems so we've got here we've got 12 so um, so a good example is Amiga it basically groups all these together so on the menu here We'll have one entry for Amiga, and all the games for these systems will be basically grouped together in one big game list. Um, and as you browse through them, they'll have brackets Amiga 4000 after them, for example, or Amiga 500, so you know what's what. But for the purpose of putting the build together, I just want to put them all separate so I can see. Also, you, you can turn all this back on afterwards. Um, and then all these systems here are all grouped un under MESS, which is, uh, you know, see. Uh, uh, a derivative from of MAME. Um, I think it was a separate part of it. Now it's part of MAME again. But anyway, it's so another um, arcade multi or multi machine emulator. Um, and then obviously the MSX stuff gets all grouped together as well. So what I'm going to say is click none. Go back, back. And now we're going to have um, items for every single one. Another thing you will notice is that some of these systems. Um, this theme doesn't have artwork for all these systems, so um, that's something I need to sort out. I mean, if you're um, if you're wanting to obviously sort out, you know, what you can do is go to user interface, obviously change the theme, go back to the, the default, which is carbon. Let's hit back. Yeah, so this this is the default theme that carbon comes with when uh, and retrobat comes with when you first install. And this should have artwork for every single system. Um, so yeah, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll sort out the, the artwork for those these, these systems and I'll drop a link in the description and it'll be a bunch of artwork that you just drop in over the top of the uh, 
of the theme uh, the theme folder so let's just check that now just so i mean i think i have covered this in some previous videos where i've done updates to the theme before but what i'll do i'll provide a zip file uh, and then if you look um so this is the build so this is our retrobat folder so you go into the emulation station folder and then there's a dot emulation station folder which uh, on certain systems makes that hidden and here we've got themes and here's our hypermax theme so what i'll do is i'll, I'll drop in a, a zip file which will have this folder inside it literally just drop it into this themes folder if you get prompted to overwrite say yes and then what what it does is inside here you see you've got all the different systems and all the artwork for them so there'll be there'll be some uh, some missing um, or possibly you know not named correctly to pick up so what i'll do i'll, I'll add the missing artwork into here so you can still use the uh, the hypermax theme because i think you know at the moment it's my favorite theme so i'll add them in <coughs> and like i say as i've done in previous videos i've done an update to this so just zip this this folder up and then or just well, just the files you need not the whole lot again and just drop it into this folder and then you should be good to go um so anyway enough of that let's go back here so like i say we've added a whole bunch of systems so i think the atom again was one of them archimedes um the ap i think was already in there so the apple II is already in there we've added added 2gs um not sure why, why Tony Parrot comes at the beginning um that's the other thing the way it's grouped as well that i'd be or sorry the way they're sorted i wanted to change just so it's easier to go through it alphabetically so if you go back to games collections and so you've got nothing grouped but then option here to how you sort them um i'm going to change that to alphabetically at the moment so like i say so 32x starts at the beginning because i guess it it uses the three you know, or 32 as the uh, sorted by rather than mega drive 32x or, but anyway so yeah 3do so adam adventure yeah you know, so me so now we're seeing all the separate so all the separate uh, amiga systems where before they were grouped and now yeah apple 2 gs arcadia archimedes so these are all astro arcade again these are all the ones we've added today the atari ones were already there the like acorn atom uh, and that's it and then we're, then we're into the uh, obviously the rest of the alphabet so there is uh, after this to add things like bbc micro etc so that's that's pretty much should be all the a's covered um for, for retro that so just to again i i guess for uh, um or just for completeness just so you can see kind of what i'm following is if you this is a very also a very handy site to go to retrobat wiki but it tells you all about retrobat how you configure it and tweak it and how, how to use it how to add your own games add bars files you know um controller systems all that kind of stuff but what i tend to do is come here and look at the supported game systems and this is where i've got my initial list from to work through so it basically lists out here all the systems that are supported by by retrobat so you can see there's quite a few and like i said i think it's around 160 mark so basically i'm working down this list and today we've added so some of these already existed we basically filled in the gaps so we've now got all those a's in the list so so yes yeah, so like i say all the all the commodore stuff is now separate and the amiga 500 it's quite a few games in it. and like i say as usual all the artwork's there Obviously, along with the games, um, I didn't mean to do that. So it's twelve hundred. The four thousand, four thousand is slightly different. So the actual games with four thousand are identical to the ones for the twelve hundred. Um, it's just the four thousand was like you see from the picture there. It was a, I guess, a, a more powerful system. So I've, I've dropped two games into the four thousand just to test them, but from the twelve hundred set. So in here we've got Aladdin and, and Super Stardust. So the 1200 and the 4000, the ones that had the um, the newer AGA graphics chipset, you can kind of see from the uh, the video there, <coughs> it allowed for much better. You know, I think it's up to 256 colours on screen and just better graphics capabilities really. Um, so yeah, that's so games are pretty much interchangeable between the 1200 and the 4000. 4, so if you wanted to add some more games into the 4000, you just take some ROMs out of the 1200 folder, copy them into the, the 4000 folder really. Um, bit, bit of a cheat, I guess, but like I say, I, I wanted to, 
I, you know, I, I did look into this quite quite a bit, and I couldn't find anything anywhere online that said, you know, the fourth games of the four thousand were different than the twelve hundred. So I've gone with that for the moment. I'm sure someone will probably correct me. Someone that knows more about Amiga than me. Um, there might be some specific games that just for the four thousand. I don't know. Um, but like as you can see from the picture, it's more of a desktop machine, I guess, for for you know artwork and CAD and video and that kind of stuff. So. I guess there might be packages or software that you could have on a 4000, but you couldn't on a 1200. But I think the games are pretty much the same. But anyway, I stand to be corrected. Um, and like I say, a few others we've added here. Um, I won't go through them all now. But here's here's Adam. This has got a couple, you know, a little bit of missing artwork, which hopefully when I get a moment I'll be able to fill that in. Adventure Vision. I think that's it. So like I say, that's all that's all added now. So we've got a complete set up to A or up to B if you like. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um all the links in the description as usual. Um please leave comments, please join the Facebook group um if you want to, come and have a chat, ask any questions, um Discord server as well, all the links in the description. Um, if you like the video, please give it a like. That'd be great. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, yeah, the, the channel is growing quite nicely, so I'd, I'd like to keep up the momentum. Um, and obviously, you know, by you guys liking and, and, and subscribing, it gives me the incentive to, to carry on making the videos. Because obviously, I'm not, I probably won't make them. People aren't going to watch them if they're no use. But um, so far, so good. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Any questions, just ask, and I'll catch you on the next one.